In this video, we will show you how to get started with the PIC32 CZ CA90 Curiosity Ultra Development Board using MP Lab Code Configurator, also known as MCC. Clone the Harmony V3 repositories and install the software shown here. You can use MCC Content Manager to clone these Harmony packages. If you are new to MCC, be sure to watch these videos. You can find the links in the video's description. For this demonstration, we will use the PIC32 CZ CA90 Curiosity Ultra Development Board. This project is based on an ARM Cortex M7 based PIC32 CZ CA90 MCU with an integrated hardware security module HSM. The HSM provides a wide range of security functionality such as secure boot, secure TLS, encryption or decryption, etc. The kit has an onboard PQOB4 debugger. For more information, watch the PIC32 CZ CA90 Curiosity Ultra Development Board video or visit the kit page. Our goal in this video is to toggle an LED on a timeout basis and print the LED toggling rate on the serial terminal. Also, the demo has an extended functionality to read and print the current room temperature using the IO1 Explained Pro extension kit. To achieve this, we will set up the hardware, download the project from the kit page, Open the project and launch the MCC. Check the peripheral configurations in the MCC. Review the application code. Then compile the project and see the output. Let's set up the hardware as shown to test functionality. To get started developing applications on this board, open the web page for this evaluation kit shown here. Download the zip file for the getting started demo project which includes the demo firmware. First, extract the demo firmware and open the project in MPLabX IDE. Go to Tools, Embedded and open MCC which will open the project graph. Here you can see the various peripherals that has been configured for the PIC32 CZ CA90 MCU. Click on a peripheral block to see how that peripheral has been configured. For example, if you click on CIRCOM1, you will see that it has been configured as a USART to print the LED toggling rate and the temperature values. Or if you click on CIRCOM0, you will see that it has been configured as an I2C master to read the temperature values from the IO1 Explained Pro extension kit. Click on the real-time clock RTC peripheral library and you will see that this peripheral has been configured to generate a 500 milliseconds timeout interrupt. If you click on the external interrupt controller EIC peripheral library, you can see that this peripheral has been configured to read the switch SW0 and SW1 status change. If you want to configure other system specific peripherals, use the drop down under plugins and choose the system module you would like to configure. For example, to configure the clock, open the clock EC view window by clicking on the clock configuration. Here, you will see the main clock is set to the default clock frequency of 300 MHz. Click on pin configuration option. In the pin settings tab, you can see that pin PB24's function has been configured as external interrupt EIC underscore EXT INT8 for switch SW0. Pin PC23's function has been configured as external interrupt EIC underscore EXT INT7 for switch SW1 and pin PB21's function has been configured as GPIU to toggle user LED 0. You can use MCC to add another peripheral, reconfigure the project and generate the code. You can use MCC Content Manager to clone or download the Harmony packages or to upgrade the existing packages anytime. You can go to the project configuration path anytime and check the various files to understand how the project was implemented. This application demonstrates an LED toggle on a timeout basis and prints the toggling rate on the serial terminal. This code uses the UART to send the strings periodically. The periodic timeout can be changed by pressing switch SW0. The demo application also periodically prints the current room temperature using the IO1 Explained Pro extension kit when pressing switch SW1. Under Project Properties in MPLabX IDE, Select the target kit in the connected hardware tool drop-down, then click OK. Open a terminal application on your PC, such as TerraTerm, and set up the serial port. You can now use MPLabX IDE to build your project and program the evaluation kit. Here, you can see the LED's toggling rate periodically displayed on the console. 
द पीरियोडिसिटी ऑफ द टाइम आउट विल चेंज फ्रॉम फाइव हंड्रेड मिली सेकेंड्स टू वन सेकेंड टू सेकेंड्स फोर सेकेंड्स एंड बैक टू फाइव हंड्रेड मिली सेकेंड्स एवरी टाइम यू प्रेस द स्विच एस डब्ल्यू जीरो ऑन द बोर्ड The demo application has additional functionality to read and print the current room temperature periodically on the console using the IO1 Explained Pro extension kit. Press switch SW1 to test this functionality. Navigate to the link shown on the screen for more application demos for the PIC32 CZ CA90 Curiosity Ultra Development Board or other development boards or kits through the MP Lab Discover. Also Please visit microchip.com/harmony to learn more about MPLab Harmony V3 features, benefits and other information. We hope you enjoyed this brief demonstration. Thanks for watching.